Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is minimum common value. So in this question, we are given two integer arrays, nums1 and nums2, and those arrays are sorted in non-decreasing order, that is ascending order. We need to return the minimum integer common in both the arrays. If there is no common integer among both the arrays, we need to return minus one as the output. So the definition of common is given that if both the arrays have at least one occurrence of that common number, then that should be returned as the output. Now let's take a look at the examples given to us. So in this we are given an array nums1 which contains these three elements and the nums2 contains two elements 2 and 4. Uh, 2 is our answer because it is repeating both the arrays. The main point to note in this question is that it is mentioned that it is sorted in ascending order which means that we can iterate through the array from left to right so that will give us the smallest element. So the first occurrence of the common element will be our answer because it is sorted in ascending order. So for this question let's use a hash set is declared. So the first step is to add all the elements inside nums1 inside the set. We are going to access this element and add it inside the set access this element and add it inside the hash set access this element and add it inside the hash set now we have the hash set containing nums1 elements now the second step is to iterate through the nums2 array from left to right and we need to check if that element is already present inside the set as soon as you find a match that will be our answer so here in this case we are accessing this element and checking if it is present inside the set using the contains method it is present so you return this as the output. So 2 is the answer. That's all the second example. In this question we are given nums1 array consisting of 4 elements and nums2 array consisting of 4 elements. So first we need to declare a hash set. And the first step is to iterate through the nums1 array from left to right and add all the elements inside set. So we are accessing this element 1, add it inside the set, add 2 inside the set, add 3 inside the set add 6 inside the set and all the elements of nums1 are added into the set. Now the second step is to iterate through the nums2 array from left to right. We access one element at a time and check if it is already present inside the set. So let's access 2 and check if it is already present inside the set using the contains method. Yes, 2 is already present inside the set. So that is the least common element. So we return 2 as the answer. Now that we have seen two examples, let's solve it using Java. Now that we have seen how this can be solved, let us code it up. As I've said, let us use the hash set to solve this problem. The hash set is going to contain integers. Now we need to return the result. The result is an integer variable. And we'll declare it to minus one. Because if we don't find any common number, we need to return minus 1. We have initialized it to minus 1. Now let us enter the elements inside the nums1 array into the set. For that, I'm going to use a for each loop and iterate through nums1 and add those into the set. Set.add of num. So this will add all the elements inside the set. Now we have all the elements inside nums1 inside the set. Now let's iterate through nums2. So if set dot contains num, so if the element we are iterating through inside nums2 is already present inside the set, then we need to return that as the result. So that means that that is the first occurrence and that is the common element. So we assign that number inside result. So result is equal to num. Now that we have found the answer, we can break the loop and come out of the for loop whenever you find the result and finally outside the for loop you can return result as the output. Now let's run the program and then take an example and see the working that is the flow of the program using an example. It is accepted. Let's submit the code. There you have it. A solution has been accepted. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n and the space complexity is also O of n. Now let's take an example and see the working of the program. So I've declared the set here. So set contains no elements in the beginning. Result is minus one. So using a for each loop, we are adding all the elements inside nums1 into the set. So nums1 for this example contains one, two and three. So add it into the set. And now we iterate through nums2 and now check if set dot contains num. So num is now accessing nums2 so num is now pointing here we're checking if 
set contains two nums as the value two now yes it contains two so appoint that to result so result is equal to two we break so come out of the for loop and return result the result is having two so two is displayed as the output here and that is our answer that's it guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one I'm gonna go, I need all the money.